hello, this is really weird. Um, so, why am I doing this video? Okay, um, I'm a wee bit nervous. I haven't filmed myself like this for a long time. I done a speaking video um, quite a while ago, um, quite a few years ago actually, um, about body dysmorphic disorder. Um, I spoke a bit about what it was, um, the fact that I had it, how it affected me, um, and I get a good response from people that had it and could relate, which was a really, really nice thing. Um, and I just want to say also thank you to people on YouTube over the years um, that I have been coming and commenting and encouraging me to, to sing. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, it's a thing in my life that has really gave me um, a lot of confidence um, and it's given me a, a kind of a nice boost in my life to be able to do that, to sit in the comfort of my own home and, and just sing away and, and to interact with people um, at a level where I'm comfortable. Um, so what I mean by that is comfortable, um, I'm in control of the camera. Usually I don't like cameras and I don't like being filmed, I don't like being photographed because I absolutely loathe what I look like now. I know maybe a lot of people feel that way about themselves but I just want to explain that body dysmorphic disorder is very different from just disliking what you look like. Um, it's a condition that affects you um, to the point where you feel deformed. Um, it's not a case of feeling um, I'm ugly, I wish I looked like a supermodel. It's a case of I'm the ugliest person in the world and I'm extremely embarrassed um, and you know, um, tormented by that on a daily basis. Um, now, from where I am now and where I was when I last filmed the video I did before, which was, oh God, how long ago was that? I don't know, five years ago or something? I'm taking a guess here. Um, I've moved on a wee bit more and I've went from just sitting in my living room singing to going out and doing gigs, um, which I'd done previously on very rare occasions with other bands, but this has been a wee bit more ongoing. Um, so it's been a wee bit more challenging for me um, because people that have body dysmorphic know that you have ups and you have downs and you have times where you don't feel comfortable being seen at all and you don't want to interact, socialise, etc. So you just kind of keep to yourself. You go to work, you do your job, you keep your life going and things and, and that's enough for you. But um, introducing getting into a band and maybe gigging maybe even just once a month can be a wee bit challenging sometimes. But also it is a very good thing. It's actually a positive thing as well because it pushes your boundaries a little bit and gets you doing things that maybe you would avoid, which isn't always the best behaviour with body dysmorphic disorder. Avoidance, it, it can lead to bad habits where, you know, I'm not going to lie, I still have. Um, but it can push you a wee bit to go and do something. And I think the main thing is um, music has been a great motivator for me. Um, the fact that I love music, especially ACDC. Now, very close to my heart because it's music that gives me confidence and it gives me a good feeling and it makes me feel empowered and strong and it's good fun. It's it's just good fun music. It changed my life um, when I started listening to them a number of years ago. Um, it kind of gave me a wee bit of a turnabout, um, especially in confidence and things like that. So that was a good thing. The one thing is it never changes the fact that you feel vile and ugly and repulsive. All these things on a daily basis. Um, and when maybe you're doing a gig, you might feel the overwhelming feelings. Sorry, I'm very nervous. The overwhelming feelings of I am absolutely disgusting looking and I'm standing up here in front of all these people um, and they're all looking at me. <laughs> that is absolutely nerve-wracking. You know, to sing on a stage in front of people in a band, is that nerve-wracking? No. What's nerve-wracking is people are looking at me Oh, and I absolutely hate what I look like. And it sounds like a total contradiction because um, I'm a very confident person. But as a person, I'm confident, but not in what I look like. It's a very different thing altogether. Um, another thing is um, 
this isn't a video about poor me, I have this, I have that, and oh my life's so hard. It's not like that at all. This is a video, this is a bit like in a wee diary. Um, it's also for people that have body dysmorphic disorder and have previously watched my video to say to them that it is possible to push your boundaries. See if you find something that you love, you might love it enough to slightly overcome how you're feeling about what you look like. It's a very tough thing, but it could work. So I really recommend that you try that. Um, but another thing I wanted to touch on was the fact that I have rosacea. Now, my skin underneath this makeup is very red, very raw, and it swells. My face swells, my whole face swells. Um, it's very uncomfortable, it's painful. It's actually very painful and very uncomfortable. Um, so that's another thing that's a challenge when you're in front of people, you have body dysmorphic disorder. You already hate what you look like, you think your face is deformed. But not only that, you have this real skin condition that really makes you look like you've been burned by an iron in the face. <laughs> or you've been you've got a face like a well scalped arse. That's basically the Scottish term for it, right? But yeah, so that's a wee bit it's a wee bit difficult. And why am I doing this and talking about it? It just makes me feel better, it makes me feel good to be open and it's great for other people to watch and relate. Um I find it so hard sometimes, I really do, but it's worth it if you can overcome it. And it's nice to be open and honest with people that maybe think if you're up there and you're singing and you're full of confidence and everything and you're loving it, it's it's great. But at the end of the day, I'm absolutely mortified about what I look like and I'm really, really embarrassed about it. Um, but I'm dead confident as a, a person that's, like I said, kind of bit of a conflicting thing but it's true that's that's just me who I am um, but I just want to say thank you to the people on YouTube for encouraging me over the years and also thank you to the people that have encouraged me and the ACDC band came to our gigs um, and supported us and um, I really appreciate that because it can be quite difficult for a woman um, in that area to do it but I'm very passionate about ACDC, the music, I love it and it's been a great thing in my life, a great positive thing and I'm sure it has been for a lot of other people as well. Um, so it's been good to talk about this and hopefully there's people out there again with body dysmorphic that can come on and watch this and relate and maybe take the next step like I have done and push themselves a wee bit and I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie to you that it's, it's very difficult and I still find it challenging, like maybe even from the first time I even done it, I still find it just as challenging. But you have to let yourself live and you have to let yourself go out there and do it. Otherwise you don't get another chance. Um, another reason I'm doing this is so is that I can take my own advice here <laughs> um, and, and really think about that and let that sink in. Um, because there's times when um, it can get a bit much and um, there was a long time I never even went out for years and years I was housebound um, I couldn't go anywhere or do anything but I've built on that I've, I got myself a job a steady job a flat and started living a wee bit more and I've built on that over the years but I still have the same moments as I did um, way way back when I was ill and I found it difficult but I would just deal with them differently so just remember that that yes it will still be just as difficult but you might thank yourself later on for doing it um, so that's all I really want to say and it feels good to get that off my chest and be honest and be who I am um, and hopefully there's other people out there that will listen to this and understand and maybe it'll help them to think about their next steps as well alright <laughs>